All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here, and this evening, Saturday evening, I'm happy to be bringing you a new watch that I just got into the collection about, I don't know, two, three weeks ago, and I've been wearing the heck out of this. This and one of my Seikos have become, like, my favorite two watches to wear. This right here is a uh, Watches by Nick Orion Field Standard. This particular model is considered a Brushmaster, and I'm pretty sure this is like a one-off watch, if I'm not mistaken. Um, if anyone knows different, you can correct me down below. But last year I was happy enough or lucky enough to be part of a, a watch tour uh, from the Facebook group Independent, uh, Independent Watch Aficionados. And uh, we looked at a uh, Orion Field Standard. And, um, you know, it was a really cool watch. I really appreciated being part of that tour. Everyone loved it. One of the things people kind of mentioned and thought would be really cool is if um, the watch came brushed. And so Nick didn't make like a whole batch of brushed ones, but he was doing like, you know, custom one-off orders. If you wanted a brushed uh, field standard, um, you could get one. And he started calling them the brush masters, I'm pretty sure. So I think this is a one-off one because I'm pretty sure it's one of the only ones he did with the uh, black date wheel there, which is really, really cool. So if you guys aren't familiar with watches by Nick, um, he is a independent watchmaker from the Pacific Northwest. He's currently enrolled in uh, watchmaking school in Seattle. And he's been really churning out some great pieces over the last year and a half. Kind of gets started out with modifying Seikos and stuff like that and gained quite a name in the community doing that. And then he went on to create the Orions and uh, just has really done good with that. Then, uh, then adapted the Orions into the field standards and made some modifications of those. And if you're not aware, he has created a dive watch uh, called the Calamity. And those watches are available for pre-order at his uh, website. I did, uh, I did go ahead and pre-order one of those the other day, and I'm excited to get it. I don't think they're delivering until uh, this summer, so do be aware of that. But, you know, when you're getting really cool one-off pieces, really custom, uh, you know, hand-done hand, hand done pieces by a, a watchmaker like Nick, I mean, it's, it's really, uh, you know, it's here nor there to wait a little bit to get it. I mean, people get on waiting lists, lists for all kinds of more expensive watches than that and stuff, so... Um, that's that. But anyways, guys, I want to tell you a little bit more about this watch. Obviously, very field, uh, classic field watch looks with the cathedral hand and the baton hand with the syringe tips there on it. You've got lots of good loom on this watch. I'll definitely uh, get some loom on the get a loom shot for you guys of this watch. Um, you're running an NH35 movement in this, which is a good 24 joule Seiko movement. I don't think Nick does anything to the movements as far as modification or anything like that goes. But it doesn't really matter. It's a great movement. This one runs amazingly, amazingly well. Date over there at the 3 o'clock position. I'll try to get it over here so you guys can see. Nick does these applied indices here. These little chrome, shiny applied indices. And they're so nicely done and they look so good. Nice, big, double dome sapphire crystal. And you guys can tell in the light here, right there, you can see that blue. Obviously, it's got AR coating on it. One of the coolest things about Nick watches are these crowns, these big, big, nice size crowns he does. Easy to manipulate. I mean, even with gloves on, I mean, it's like nothing to get a hold of these crowns and get them to work for you. And he puts his little Orion logo there. You guys can see there on the side. Drilled lugs on this watch. Amazingly curved like that. You can see how the strap that, they, that he's had custom made for this curves to match everything. This is a different strap I actually have on it. I'll open the box down there. I have the black strap that it came on. We'll take a look at that. Show you guys the case back on this one real quick. I just love Nick's watches, and this, is, this has been a real, real wonderful watch to add to the collection. I'm just really actually proud to own it. So you guys can see there on the back, you've got the field standard. These are water resistant to 100 meters. Oops, excuse me. It's kind of hard to get to, there it goes. 100 meters water resistance. I know Nick said when he was creating these watches that he uh, pressure tested them super good. I'm not going to you know, say anything beyond that, but the water, water resistance is good with this one. Very good. Screw down case back there. Automatic 042. Probably referring to the, to the number. I know it's got 042 there. And then on one of the lugs, I think it's got like a 236 or something. Yeah, right here. It's got a little number down here on this lug. These nicely done leather bands he does on the Orions. Now, I don't know if there's actually any of these brush field standards available out there. I just wanted to show you guys this because I got it in the collection. 
It's such a beautiful watch. One of the coolest things about this watch is the dimensions. You've got 38 millimeters from side to side, not including the crown. And then you're looking at 49 uh, from lug tip to lug tip. So it's really, really long like that, but it wraps around your wrist. And I'll show you when I get a wrist shot of it. And then as far as the thickness goes, because of the double dome sapphire, I'm pretty sure this thing comes in pretty thick, over 13, but yeah, it's 13.7. So closer to 14, but not, not too bad. It's, I mean, look at the crystal. A lot of that is that crystal there, guys. So I wanted to show you guys this. I wanted to tell you guys about the Calamity. They are available for pre-order if you guys are interested in getting one. I ordered the drab green one. I'm so excited about it. I think yeah, I think it's it's not only you know the watch, but it's what Nick wants to do. And I'll just kind of say it real quick. I know that he wants to get um, when he graduates in August. He wants to look for a barn or an old church or something like that, and basically create uh, his urology. Uh, you know, studio where he's going to start building, making watches. He wants to create 100% American-made pieces, you know, all the way down to the movement and stuff. So let me set this down real quick. You know, get it on the wrist. and get a quick loom shot. Before I get the loom shot, I want to open the box and show you the other strap that the watch came with. You guys can see the box there. Now, last time when I actually got the one for the tour, it didn't come in a box. So it's kind of nice that you guys get to actually see the box there. So as you guys probably know already, I have a seven inch wrist and I mean this watch just, it hugs the wrist. And a lot of times you'd think 38 millimeter wouldn't, wouldn't fit right, but I mean this fits absolutely beautifully. Um, and I think that long lug length actually gives it a, a, a real nice look too. So very cool there. And let me get this box open here. I'll show you some of the stuff. Here's the other strap that uh, the watch came on. And if you want to see what the watch looks like on the black strap, go back and watch the video of the prototype one that I did. I'll leave a link for that down below. And then a little bit of stuff that came in the box, you know, from Nick. This is always neat when you get a watch and, and the, the watchmaker actually writes everything down there by hand. So, too cool, too cool. So, all right, give you guys a quick, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dim the lights. Hold on a sec. All right, like I said, this watch has really good loom. I think it's Swiss Superloom, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I can't remember, but it works great. Works really good. So yeah, you guys can see that right there. Beautiful loom. So I'll, I'll leave a link down below to Nick's website. Go check him out. I'm sure if you guys are into watches, you probably already know about this kid. I say kid. He's, he's a kid compared to me, but he's just doing amazing stuff, and I want to support what he's doing as far as making all American made watches and stuff like that. I think it's great. Check out the Calamity over there at his website, which is on pre-order. Can't wait to get mine. And uh, if there's any Orion, uh, Orion watches or field standards like these left, I'd say get them up, or buy them up when you can. They're a bargain for what you get, guys. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. Give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom if you like this one. And if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do, please do. Thanks, guys.